and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Simic wishes in best of one. So if you were watching uh, earlier in the week on Monday um, and then one, one deck on Tuesday, we played a bunch of best of one decks for the win every card challenge event happening this weekend, uh, the 5th through the 7th on Magic Arena. And it's an event where you get to play with any cards that you want. Uh, it doesn't matter if the cards are in your account or not. And you build a best of one deck and you play. And if you win 12 matches before you lose two matches, then you get one copy of every card on Arena um, and credited to your account. So, you know, you can win every card, basically. And so that event, uh, it's free to, free to play. And so, you know, we should have lots of people playing it this weekend. Um, but so we played a bunch of decks earlier. So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you want a lot of other deck ideas, check those out. Um, our first two decks didn't do so well, but then the next five decks all looked pretty good. And uh, one of the, uh, the last deck that we played was Simic Ramp, which looked like this. But instead of having Fey of Wishes, we had a couple of Mass Manipulation and an Agent of Treachery in the main deck. But we also kind of talked about how, how powerful Fey of Wishes is in best of one like this this is just such a powerful card in best of one that what if instead of playing those what if we play fey of wishes and then get to set up a <clears throat> a sideboard which here I'll, I'll kind of show the sideboard here for a little bit we get to set up a, a sideboard where we have so many different really impactful cards that we can grab i have a fable passage in here in case like we have four mana for fey of wishes but we don't quite have our fifth mana yet for Caval like to be able and like we want to play like Cavalier Thorns and Nissa and stuff like that on turn five, because Fey of Wishes does say just grab any non uh, non creature card, so you can grab land. So we got a land, and so we got fa Fabled Passage because it could be the extra green source or blue source, like whatever we need there. But we should already have the four lands in play. Um, but then yeah, we got like some some really. Um, you know, we have mass manipulation in here, plus some other really impactful top end cards also to be able to go find. Um, and then against, you know, some some matchups like Ashiok and Unmoored Ego against like Field of the Dead or against um, Esper Doom, uh, the Doom Foretold decks, um, you know, maybe you get this like game one and you just lock them, lock them out and everything like that. So there's a lot of good sideboard stuff. Um, so this will be interesting to try out. So yeah, the the event is best of one. Um, oh, nice there, Chris. Yeah, we're gonna once once historic um, is like an event here on Arena. We'll we'll definitely play historic and brawl and stuff like that once they get uh, cues for those. But all right, so we're gonna play some standard ranked with Simic wishes here. Let's see how this deck works out. Um, the decks that I, there's kind of three decks that I'm kind of really deciding between this deck. So we'll, we'll test it out, see if it, you know, stays on there. Uh, the original version of this deck, Simic Ramp, that just has the ramp cards at the top, your manipulation and agent of treachery instead of the Fae of Wishes or, uh, Simic Flash. I think Simic Flash is, um, really, really good in, um, in best of one and so those are kind of the decks that i'm kind of deciding between so we're we're going to be playing a simic deck yeah i know you can play historic i know there's like a, a but there's not like an, a, a historic event right now so if we're playing against aggro this is going to be too slow probably maybe not I may, I may, like, the other thing about Fae of Wishes is you can just play it as a two-mana 1-4 against aggro decks. So, like, where, like, Mass Manipulation may be a card that would be, like, you know, pretty bad against an aggro deck, you could just play a 1-4 a, a and just block. So this looks like this could be a Field of the Dead deck, where maybe I go Fey for Unmoored Ego. Now, I probably need to get Ashiok. Now, the, the problem with Unmoored Ego 
is it costs black mana, so we have to have a goose or the paradise druid in play to cast the eco. Which I don't have either. Got a bunch of lands over there. Hmm. Let's just cast this, see if we hit like a Leafkin Druid or a Paradise, you know, like a, a Paradise or a Goose or anything like that. All right, I'm going to take the Paradise Druid because I want... I want that Black Mana Source. So next turn I can Nissa plus Fey. Or I could just go Cavalier and Goose. And then if I do that, if I just go Cavalier Goose, then the following turn I could Nissa, Fey, and on Mordigo, so I'm still casting on Mordigo the next turn. And my opponent doesn't realize that I'm going to have on Mordigo. So now we get Ego here next turn, but my opponent doesn't realize that it's coming. All right, so no Field of Ruin. Or Field of the Dead, I mean. No Field of the Dead. All right, so what else we got over here? So we got an Agent of Treachery. Two Agent of Treacheries. So basically two Agent of Treacheries is really all we need to worry about. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Faye and Best of One is insane. <laughs> so now I can I can unmoor ego Agent of Treachery, so we don't have to worry about that card. And also just go grab mass manipulation, I guess, and steal all these things. But they're scrying to the top. Um, that's fine. No. 
Life waxes and wanes. The past is never forgotten. They don't really have anything to kill me. I guess Krasis. GG's. Alright, Fae of Wishes is pretty ridiculous. Especially like when you have Nissa and you have just all that mana. Yeah, Fae of Wishes is actually what we all wanted Karn the Great Creator to be. Yeah, basically. It is really out of a best of one with the sideboard. Well, Matt, yeah, so with the Reef Trigger or the Cavalier Thorn Trigger, it's more likely the Cavalier Thorn hits a Scry Land. So I want to do the Reef first. And, like, the Reef drawing me the card, I have more information than whenever I'm making the decision with Cavalier Thorn. Because, like, the Cavalier Thorn is, like, where you're making the decision, so I want the most information possible when I make decisions. Instead of making the decision with Cavalier Thorn of what land to put into play, but not knowing... Um, I guess I could have once upon a time there to see if we hit the goose so we could have turn two Oko. <laughs> uh, well, we would have. All right. Well, I was kind of planning on just playing the Leaf Kindred, but. Hmm. Kind of feel like this could be Simic Flash. I want it. I want this Crasis just in case. When I'm cleaning up after dinner, I make my wife call me Bay of Dishes. So do I play Oko or do I play around? Yeah, I play Oko. Think about playing around the two mana counter spell. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. It's not poison. Trust me. <laughs> Great, now I'm gonna run to a lot of this in best of one now. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Mm, you never know. Tricks. Um <laughs> yeah, the change the goose noise. invite you to change your ways.
So I, I'm definitely playing one of these things here because I want... Okay. I want to be difficult for them to play the... So it's a game you're interested in. I want to make it difficult for them to, to play the wolf. Like, if they would have just kept the four mana up, I didn't want them to just be able to slam a wolf. Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to just plus one on this cutthroat a long time ago. Okay, there we go. Got another donation deck here, Louise. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got here. So yeah, we can just have a donation deck day tomorrow. Never ending aggro with Gruel. Great Hint. Gruel the Great Henge. I like Cavalier of Flame with the Great Henge. I like that quite a bit. It has Grum Gully in it. Okay. Sweet. Thanks, Louise. Okay. Mm. into my face and put on your true shape. Together, we will prevail. I don't think I... So it's like two, four, five, six. I can play Krasis for four. I think we wait a turn on Krasis. Okay. Killing Cavalier just gives, gives us back another Krasis. Krasis is just like the best card to be playing against decks with, with counter spells. There you go, okay. You wanna go say hi, everybody? Two, four, six, seven, eight. That's nine. Be wary of the ground you walk on. 
So 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. I think I'm just going to do 8. Not much difference between 8 and 9. But we can maybe cast something else here. something for you to dote on. So now we can activate Spectral Sailor and draw lots of cards. Yeah. Sure, they can have a wolf. They can make a wolf or two. But... Yeah, <laughs> we need, we kind of need that. Yeah, using that mana sink for, with Nissa. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, well, this deck looks really impressive so far, but also played against Simic Flash without counter spells, made our life easy. Yeah, isn't that weird how stealing the one one makes such a big difference? Oh, my hand was an easy keep. Sorry, I didn't know it was on me. Hawkeye's blocking the screen there. There's like, here, just, just scoot over a little bit. Just don't, don't sit immediately in front of. The screen. Yeah, there you go. Sit right here. So your only two losses last night were from Cavalcade. Okay. Like, they were on the play. Um... It's gonna be... Risen Reef first or Paradise Druid first? Or Paradise Druid first. Then I don't have to use this food from the goose. Should he use the food from the goose? It didn't work out. All right, come on, draw land, play Cavalier. No. Where's the lands at? Where are those lands at? Simic Folio Reclamation.
Wow, this is really unlucky. Did a really bad job of hitting lands there. Would have liked our chances. And there's still no, there's not even any lands in the graveyard. If I, you know, have the Cavalier, a Thorns is going to die to the Questing Beast, but there's not even a land for me to put on top. That took a while to figure out. Wow. So yeah, if like one of those first, you know, like one of those first three cards w was a land, and so that we got to play the Cavalier Thorns a turn earlier, it would have just led to another Cavalier Thorns, and I think we win that pretty handily but yeah just no mana all right turn two goose or sorry turn two oko after the goose Leafkin can block. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules them? I invite you to change your way. Uh, this island was from Mirage. This is a Mirage island. Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, I could have gone 6-6 six, six land, but then it would just trade with Knight. Also, still. This means that I can block one of the two ones with the island. And they, they can only attack for five. Besides that. Welcome to the feast. Harness the elements. Correct. The the island would lose tap for mana and it would lose vigilance and haste. It'd lose all the abilities. 
but you can make it you can turn it into a 6-6 six six, though now the Ayara deck isn't necessarily too hard to navigate it does have it does have some tricky stuff like you know priest of forgotten gods is, is pretty tricky but but yeah no the, the deck felt strong All right, so I'm planning on turning the Ember Cleave. Um, into a 3 3. Just gonna play a new Oko. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Oh dear. Oko is now a 3 3. Or, I mean, sorry, Ember Cleave's now a 3 3. They have this castle over here, though. So they can just kind of keep drawing cards. Did I not use Nissa? Yeah, I guess I didn't use Nissa last turn, did I? Oh well. No, they they do not lose legendary status, so it's still a legendary creature there. This is probably just another Ember Cleave, I guess. So I guess I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have blocked the other Ember Cleave with Cavalier. I should have blocked something else. So hostile to the truth. I kind of want Cavalier to die. Gaze into my face and put on the your land true shall shape. conquer you. So I'm going to let them have the Ember Cleave because I just want Cavalier to die so I can get Fey of Wishes back and start doing crazy stuff with Fey of Wishes. No. Hawkeye's staring down my opponent. Hmm. 
Yeah, we could maybe do finale for a ton of, ton of card draw. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. So I'm gonna have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna have ten mana. That's my chapstick. So I'm gonna have ten mana. I could just like manipulation the three things. I guess I'm going to Celebration. Celebration's pretty busted. I'm going to go proliferate, proliferate, return a permanent card. I proliferate again. When the land speaks, I shall listen. something for you to do I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worm I invite you to change your ways but what happened to my hydro crisis was I supposed to have a Hydro Crisis in my hand? Or did I, did I accidentally grab Oko instead of Crisis? No, you don't get the equipment. So they, they could still re-equip. Their equipment's still theirs. I chose a land? Okay, well it was, I guess the, the thing was going down quickly. I guess I chose a land instead of Guess it must have been a little laggy or something, but I was certainly wanting to choose Krasis. So I have like infinite mana. So two, four, so that's 12. Fourteen. All right, so I still got 10 mana there. We like don't have any like lands left in our deck. It's not poisoned. Trust me. All 
I'm gonna be doing green finale next turn. That's my my plan to win the game is green finale next turn. I'm not gonna play these cavaliers. We have 21 cards over here. Jeez. The land fights for us. So you want to do this in historic fate fate for Nexus? So I have two, four, six, eight mana. Things are indestructible. I don't blue man anymore. Yeah, I, I didn't think I played a land, but Thornwood Falls comes to play tapped, unfortunately. Did I do anything with you, Oko? Yeah, okay. All right, how much mana do we have for finale? So it costs four, and then two, four. Um, so that's eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So minus two, so 16. No, let me green finale for 16. Uh, we're gonna green finale for 16. Yeah, I, th I think the right word is enough. How much were we going to finale for? Enough. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, we got to, fin you know, what, blue finale for, I think, what, 14, but then it's untapped five lands. And, of course, with Nissa, all those lands do double. So it's like, all right, well, now we draw 14 cards. Now we still have 10 mana left. So I just tried to play a whole bunch of creatures with 10 mana. And then we saw the Nissan tap for two more mana. <laughs> I think whenever the opponent quits, we should have the option to continue against the bot to see it play out. To see against the, a computer bot. All right, don't don't cook my goose. Don't cook the goose. Don't cook the goose. All right, they're not cooking the goose. Welcome to the feast. Oh no. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Alright, so Cavalcade on the play can still be tough. So it's 619 said that th this was your two losses with this deck, was against Cavalcade when they were on the play.
Okay, Risen Reef did its job. Is there like some specific card I should have in the sideboard for this matchup for like to Fae of Wishes for? I mean, we have plain white celebration that gains 16 life. We just kind of have to ramp up to that. Thanks, I'll block that. about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Let's broaden your existence. Chandra's elk was going to do way too much damage. Um, no, Spyglass does not stop Spitfire or Cavalcade. Spyglass does stop this Chandra, though. So, yeah, I do have the, the Spyglass. That's that's definitely a good thing to fay for Spyglass to stop this Chandra, but it's it's too, too late, though. We missed too many land drops. You don't. Cavalcade doesn't always have those hands. And they're not always on the play. But yeah, like the best Cavalcade hand is probably going to beat our best hand, but also our, our hand wasn't I mean we had turn two Oka. Like that's what we had, which was which is really good, but we really had nothing to follow that up with. And we didn't have more land drops at all. Okay, play two more matches here. We'll cast this right away, see if we hit a goose. Of course, you always want to draw your card first. No, Crisis for two is is just too slow. The game, the game's already over with the all the cavalcade triggers. We'd still be we'd be dead if we played Crisis for two. We we didn't have any any cards to survive there. It's gonna be a bunch of cavalcade triggers. Gate. Yeah, we beat some McFlash earlier because we resolved an Oko really early like that, and, and Oko was really good for us. Don't know if we're going to beat some McFlash again.
Krasis is really nice, though. Because Krasis is a creature that we get to cast. Doesn't matter if it gets countered. I want another land. I want six mana to be able to draw two. Alright, we got another land. <laughs> I can if you want, Kendis. I wasn't planning on doing that. But I can. Maybe I'll title the YouTube video with that. Attack with your sailor. There you go. There's no reason not to attack with the sailor there. So I'm making two two food here. going to be Fae of Wishing for? So I don't think they have a counter spell, so I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially nine mana. They could have a bounce spell if I just try to manipulate the two things. I think it's either manipulation or like, if I, if I go celebration ultimate, is that really even that good? Yeah, 
I think they just had a bunch of four mana cards. Now we have the Spectral Sailor with Nyssa. Yeah, it does seem like that's our biggest weakness is Cavalcade, like Cavalcade with Cavalcade being on the play and Cavalcade having a really good hand kind of thing. Because we still have like some good stuff against Cavalcade. We were pretty lucky that game, I think. I mean, my opponent was also pretty lucky to have so many early counter spells also. But like, you know, the luck goes two ways. No. So yeah, I could have grabbed Leafkin. Ugh. Maybe I should have grabbed Leafkin. I guess I should have. Yeah, I was looking for the goose. Um, you know, if we if we grab Leafkin though, and they kill Leafkin, and I don't draw a land. You know, because we would have only had, you know, like we may not have had that extra land there. Um. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten one bite, and all your hey, Enigma. GG's, yeah. Yeah, you just could not get that fourth land. I think if you would have got yeah, if you would have got that fourth land, like you would have had that for sure. You're blind to your folly. So it's a game you're interested in. That attack makes me think that they have slaying fire, and I don't like that. <laughs> yep, they got slaying fair. fire. Oh. I like that though. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Oh dear. Yeah, really good game there. Oh no. Torbran. Ooh, I feel so alive. Um. I might as well block this thing. Your expectations are exhausting. Not another Oko. <laughs> Need another Oko to turn this Torbron into an elk. I think I have trample. No, just first strike. All right, so if I don't block, I'm taking three, six, ten. I think I should take 10. He will set the Fenty's Monument. All right, well, they're attacking for 10. Torbrand is just, yeah, Torbrand is just incredible. If I, so the big mistake I made this game, which honestly, 
I think we could have won if I would have if I would have done one thing differently. Like I, I think this game's over. So I went I went Oko on three, which was perfectly fine. But then we drew the other Oko and immediately played the other Oko. That was the huge mistake. If I just played Risen Reef instead of Oko, um, like we win this game because then they play Torbran. I take a lot of damage, but then I get to untap and play Oko and turn that Torbrand into a 3-3. And then, like, our, our Krasises are going to out, outclass um, the rest there. So that's where I really messed that up. Hey, there we go. Enigma getting the gifted sub from 619. So there we go, Enigma. Yeah. That was for the... The good game there against Flash. Thank you so much there, 619. Alright, well let's let's play one more tonight. With the best of one decks before I was playing seven matches. Let's play one more. I I feel pretty good about this deck, though. I know, you know, four and three uh doesn't look like the best, but I feel good about the deck. I think I like this Fae of Wishes more than without Fae of Wishes. Yeah, and if you want, there's the link to the deck list right there. Also, if you want to check it out. Uh, let's just scry, look for land. I don't need to like look for a goose with the Once Upon a Time. I don't really need a goose here. Play one more game with Grixis Reanimator with the updates after this. I could do that. Just play a, a game for a stream. Why do people do that? Draw your card first. Just draw your card so you have you have more information and everything. All right, so I'm going to just play Risen Reef next turn and then Leafkin after Risen Reef to get the Risen Reef trigger. That could be me being too slow here. We'll see. That's a cool forest. Hmm. If we would have hit a land there and then drew a land, I could have gone like Nissa plus Leafkin the, the following turn. All right, looks like I should just have Leafkin in play. I should have had Leafkin in play. All right, Punch Factory, take care.
Paradise Druid, you can go. So I'm probably just going to be chump blocking with Risen Reef on the 5-5 five five here. You know, if, if something happens to Cavalier Thorns. So they just attack out. No attacks. Well then. One, two, three, four, five. Basically, do I play Nissa or not? Or do I just go Risen Reef, Leaf Kin, Leaf Kin? I'll probably just do that. If I play Nissa, I could go Leaf Kin plus Reef. I guess I'm just getting the other Risen Reef, three Risen Reef triggers and a Leaf Kin in instead of Nissa. Come on, just, just all lands. All I want are lands. I just want every land in the deck. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure they're 619. Are you, are you talking about, yeah, Matt's Grixis deck? Uh, that, yeah, I don't have that up on Stream Decker. Oh, where are the lands at? Okay, good. I'm pretty sure I have a Jace in the sideboard, right? Just triple double check. Yeah, I have a Jace over there, so we can self mill. And Lou getting the gifted sub. Welcome to the channel there, Lou. <clears throat> All right, that's probably going to kill me. I'm probably dead. I do have a board wipe in the sideboard, but I need I need either I need an extra color, you know, it's not blue green. Well I guess I have flood of tears. So yeah, actually I have so actually I did have a board wipe I could have gone and found in the sideboard, but yeah, that's that's lethal there. So yeah, I could have gone Fay for Flood of Tears and bounced all of these. So that was not lethal unless they pumped. All right, so yeah, we're just a little slow there. I mean, even though we went four and four, I feel I feel really good about the deck. That game doesn't really change my mind too much there. Um, like, sure, you know, they have Tristani, March, Flourish, sure. Um, yeah, I feel I feel really good about this deck. It feels it. I I definitely like it. I'm. Uh, yeah, I think I like I think I like basically everything we got going on here. So this is probably going to be the the deck that I play. I think the Veil of Summer is I don't think I really like the Veil the Veil of Summer. Is there any just uncounterable can't be can't be countered? Something that won against Simic Flash. But the thing is, is like... Something better than Shifting Ceratops. Like something really nice. Maybe commence the endgame. If Faye resolves, like maybe they're like try to like let that resolve and then counter the other spell. The Veil of Summer just isn't necessary. So maybe that's commence the end game. Uh, 
They can just bounce tokens, though. Maybe it's Ceratops. I mean, well, Ceratops we can't grab with Faye anyway. It's a creature. Yeah, maybe just put a Teferi over here. Yeah, I could see Rhythm. Ah. I don't know. I basically think I don't really love either of these. I think we got a an extra slot here. Maybe just a second mass manipulation. I basically I don't think that 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 veil of summer matters. So I think we have an extra slot. Yeah, I guess there are like. You do play against um, Wilderness Reclamation sometimes. You know, like Teamer Reclamation is a deck. So maybe Teferi, because that shuts down Teamer Reclamation also. So yeah, maybe just a Teferi. You don't think Flood helps anything? Think of that last game. If my opponent didn't have Lethal, we were going to Flood and, and bounce all their, all their tokens back to their hand. We were, we were about to play Flood... We were like that's that was our plan. <laughs> that that was literally our plan that last game that we played was Flood of Tears. And plus you play against other like Simic decks like this. If you can like bounce all of their stuff and then you know you put something back into play, you just you're just ahead. Um but anyway, so yeah, there we go. That's Simic Wishes. I like this deck. I like this one. Yeah, it's not against control. Yeah, it's it's against other go wide decks. Um all right, uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, and please let me know what you think of the deck in the comments. Um, you know, if you're trying the deck out and everything too, how is it going for you? Uh, you know, what do you like this? Uh, Flash, uh, regular ramp, what do you like for the event this weekend? But thank you so much for watching some Simic Wishes, and I'll see you for the next video.